climate change is promoting the spread of dangerous diseases. Progressing global warming is the source of many new ones challenges for humanity. One of them is the increased threat from specific diseases in places where they have not occurred so far. However, this matter is much more complex. Between the spread of diseases and changes there are climatic dependencies. A team of experts from various institutions gathered by the University of Hawaii and NO, he decided to get closer to them look. The description and results of this work were published in the journal Nature Climate Change. Researchers approached this issue in a systemic way. Took considering the 10 risks to people from global conduct warming. These are, temperature increases, droughts, heat waves, fires, extremes precipitation, floods, storms, in the sense of low pressure systems, e.g. storms tropical, sea level rise, biogeochemical changes taking place in oceans and changes in terrain. Then in the available data examples of the influence of these 10 factors on the occurrence of diseases began to be sought among people. The lists collected any known infections that affected humanity in its history, and then over 70,000 people were introduced. Publications scientific in search of examples of combining the above mentioned effects global warming with the mentioned diseases in the context of existence between these are cause and effect relationships. In this way, attempts were made to take into account and check each one a possible combination of causes and effects. It turned out that all 10 the above mentioned factors had an impact on diseases caused by viruses, bacteria, fungi, or protozoa. Transmission of infection was taken into account through water, air, direct contact, and food. The analysis results showed that as many as 218 out of 375, or about 58, percent, of the known diseases that affect people were influenced by one of the aforementioned 10 factors, with as many as 1,006 different roads leading to this. Miscellaneous possibilities in this area were indicated in the one prepared by the researchers interactive graphics. The analyses carried out allow us to draw a number of conclusions that allow us to predict what awaits us in the future. First of all climate change brings diseases closer to people for everyone. Both the territorial scope of their occurrence and the scope are increasing temporal allowing pathogens to spread. This applies to pathogens transmitted by mosquitoes, fleas, and birds and some mammals. They are responsible for carrying such diseases such as malaria, Zika, or West Nile fever. He was accelerated also the life cycle of pathogens. Conditions for disease carriers have also improved. This is especially visible in the case of mosquitoes, which function significantly better at increasingly higher temperatures. On the other hand, climate change is also approximate people to pathogens. This is related to forced population migrations, the caused by floods or rising water levels. People become in more exposed to e.g. typhus, cholera, or legionellosis. Unfortunately, climate threats also reduce our ability to deal with diseases. We are increasingly exposed to functioning in unfavorable conditions, which exposes us to more frequent contact with pathogens. On the other hand, people's access to medical care, 